Hi, this is Elise, Miss Black Florida here, and I'm so delighted to have Mimi here today, who is a fashion designer. She's going to tell us a little bit more about what it's like to be in that industry. But first of all, Mimi, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. I am so excited to be promoting my, um, to be promoting what's coming up. So Mimi, I want to ask you, what motivated you to become a fashion designer? What motivated me to be a fashion designer is that I like to express myself through my designs. Um, I see fashion as an art and seeing your designs come to life from a sketch is always very fulfilling. And what inspiration would you give to other young women who want to pursue fashion as a career, either as designers, models, or something like that? Those who are looking for the extra encouragement they need to really go forward and pursue the career. When I think about um, a younger me, I would say to my younger self that pursuing a career in fashion design would bring you joy, it will make you happy, and there's endless potential of how successful you can be and what you can design and living the life you want. I like the way that sounds, living the life that you want on your terms. That's what everyone should do. Yep. I'd also like to ask, what wellness life tip do you follow to stay on track towards your goals as a designer? Because of course, in anything that we do, it's important to have a healthy body, a healthy mind mm -hmm. to pursue wellness along the way. So I'm sure there are things that you do on a daily basis to ensure that you're able to continue to be your best designer self. So what do you do? I like to drink water um, exclusively. It helps me to feel better throughout the day. It's the first thing I drink in the morning when I wake up. And also I like to do yoga. Yoga really relieves the tension in my muscles and to make me feel more relaxed, especially when I'm driving. <laughs> what about uh, the show that you have coming up? That's what's really exciting. Yeah. So there's this big fashion show. I've heard a little bit about it. Can you tell me more? What is it called? When is it happening? And where is it going to be? The show is called Breathe. That's the name of the concept of the fashion show. And the concept comes from being in this crazy chaotic time where everything is just up in the air yeah like just crazy things happening left and right and the show is meant to be a breath of fresh air and all the craziness and chaos going on in the world and so it is going to take place in late september uh, at a location in New Smyrna Beach at the Sugar Mill Ruins. And awesome. it's gonna be an uh, outside fashion show. And unfortunately, it won't be a show that people can attend because of the pandemic. So it will be filmed and posted later on to social media. Awesome. And it's gonna be on, I think you mentioned before, Facebook and YouTube, right? Yes. Awesome. Okay. And who are the sponsors for this show? Who's you know, putting some of the bill and, and helping to ensure that this all takes place? Well, we're happy to have the Lupus Foundation, again, sponsoring the Curb Gear Fashion Show. Um, all donations uh, will be very much appreciated. Myself and the other designers will be making donations to the Lupus Foundation and anything helps. So thank you. And what are you bringing to the event in terms of fabrics and styles? I would consider my style for this collection um, is kind of like elegant meets ratchetness. <laughs> um, Sounds fun. Yeah, there's uh, the main theme of this collection will be duality, a lot of black and white. There's also some tool in there, some velvet, such as satin and some jacquard. And I'm excited for you guys to see that. Well, thank you so much for coming on and speaking with me for the interview today. We're so excited for the show. Thank you for I'm excited me. to see what happens with this next. Me too. Thank you. Thank you.